Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be providing a detailed video on how to write the test cases from given user story. So let us first understand how the user stories will look like for you. So user story will look like for you something like this. This is the user story which I have taken very simple one. As a new user, I want to register for a given application by creating a username and password so that software application can remember me and my data that is the one user story then the another user story is as a registered user i want to sign in with the username and password which is already used in the first user story that username and password will be taken up for signing into the application that is the second uh, user story now we will try to understand how can we convert this user story into acceptance uh, testing that is the next step we are going to make so as a new user when i sign in the page and enter the username and password and click on sign up button when i click on the sign up button then you should successfully register it that is the acceptance criteria after registration i should be able to use the same credential same username and password I should be able to log into that given application that is the acceptance criteria now we will go on to the next level how can we derive the detailed test cases for this user story in order to create a test cases for any user story first you should understand you should visualize yourself for all the user story in order to visualize maybe your BAs, your product owners might have given a lot of demos to you, lot of walkthrough to you. Based on that walkthrough, you might have certain visibility or visual in your mind. Based on that, you should derive the detailed test cases for any user stories. First thing you should do here is for any user story, you should derive the test cases in different way one is by considering all the positive scenarios by giving all the valid inputs by giving all the valid things just to see whether your application behaves as expected or not the, the second type of things you should validate here is negative scenario so negative scenario here i am trying to break the application by giving all kind of different set of data all invalid data just to see that still your application behaves as expected that is the second type of test cases which we normally write for any given user story next type of test cases which we write here is different kinds of boundary conditions it could be minimum value maximum value all different kinds of combination just to optimize the test cases every possible inputs if you try to give still your application should work as expected these are the three various things we will use to derive your test cases now we will take up the sign up page where user story clearly talks about username and password and confirm password if i enter username and password and confirm password when i click on sign up page then I should be able to create a username account. That is the expectation out of this user story. Then what are the various test cases which we can write? It could be a valid username, invalid username, username contains special characters. It can be minimum character, maximum character, and also we will be validating for username for an empty field. The username can be contain letters, numbers, and period, and so on. Next set of test cases which you should write here is for password and confirmation field so what are the various different test cases which we can write for password field also you should write here the password can be have uh, eight characters minimum or it can be having a mix of numbers letters symbols and password should not have a spaces or period our password can have maximum this many characters or minimum based on the requirements which is given for you by your business analyst or your product owners so based on that you should derive your test cases here you cannot go and assume yourself okay this is what i'm going to write it definitely get it clarified with your product owner or your development team just to ensure that you are aligning with them while you are writing the test cases appropriately for any given user stories so after entering all these different combinations we have tested everything when you click on sign up button 
when you click on sign up button then the new user account should be able to create and also that new user you should also get validated in the back end just to see that after we do all this operation again that user is got created in the back end or not because the next user story will be using that username and password i will be logging into your application the next user story which i am going to talk now the sign in page will look something like this where i will be entering the valid username and invalid username in this case i will be entering registered user and unregistered user if i am able to give the registered username and different combinations of password if it is valid password with the registered user only you should be able to log in otherwise all different combinations of username and password your login should fail because that user is not available in the database that means you are trying to do all kind of things to break your application by putting all invalid things so these are the various uh, different uh, combinations of test cases uh, you should write i am hoping now you guys got a clear idea if you guys really like this video then please click on like button if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care